you're right, you know, I already know this. Oh. oh, this is a Corey and Danny evicted, must vacate in three days. Like, what the hell just happened? Like, once I just am like going on vacation or something, like, anytime I got need to be evicted. Dwayne explains why he didn't buy a house with Neek. Maybe they just want to live separate houses. See, people be too focused on, they be like, oh, couples got to live together. Like, no, they do not. Couples can have their own separate house. Because what if they got more shit than the other? What are they going to store it at? I <laughs> I can get a full bedroom just to fill up one room with y'all shit. <laughs> like, and then I see this other interesting video with McQueen. It's a TikToker who got burnt in Japan. Takes a random fan to get a happy ending. Like, yeah, we got to react to that. Like, I think that I'm going to do a two for one. Y'all already know what a two for one is. It's when we react to both of these videos on the same video. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't got no part or no vape or nothing, then the reaction is going to be boring to you unless you just walk for the fun of it. Or if you got a blunt or some prevo, whatever. I don't give a damn. Just smoke it. You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, let's get into this reaction video. Aaron strikes it with Tums. Also, a new Tums gummy bites. Disney Speedstorm. Fuck no. Copyright bit. So, as you guys, Corey's girlfriend, Danny, has many business establishments. Now she has a tax service. She opened up the Peach Factory in Dallas. Now she also owned facility in Dallas, which is where she was housing patients. Now it appears the house that she was renting for those patients, she's now getting evicted. It states that she has a three-day note Kate, for none of payment of rent. So you guys remember, Corey was also evicted from his apartment in Miami for none of payment. So Denny goes on to Facebook and she posts, I'm just like my man. One of the facilities chance to change wasn't meeting the goal so i'm closing that one 800 per month per resident wasn't making the cut so who is about to continue to take money from their personal account to run that second home so clock that t i'm closing that one and i'm not paying ish until the state pay me also i just hired an assistant last week and just fired her this week because I found out her family had a tax business and invited her with 150 emails to send out contracts to my tax partners. And she sent those emails to Arsenio Hall and they sent out a mass email. This is why I can't trust you jealous MFs. Back to another country next week. Kenya, here we come. So now Sherelle, the girl that's been exposing Danny for everything, went to explain in full detail what happened and how Danny put a lot of people out on the streets by closing that house. To be low down and dirty, but to sit there when people are literally at their wits end, have nowhere to go, nobody to turn to, and they've pretty much given everything to you and you act like you don't care, you ignoring them, or you pretending like so much other shit in your life is so much better, so more important than the shit that you actually have going on, the shit is sick. Y'all was asking me for a backstory behind Dan. She claimed to be this prolific ass millionaire, 14 million up, all these different businesses, some being funded by the federal government. Man, I don't know what the hell going on. I thought Danny and goddamn Corey was living lavish and shit. 
But then I also been seeing her like expose them and shit. Or try to. Then they went to court. Seeing each other in court and shit. Ain't nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. Others, where she got the IRS in her pocket and she paying them twenty five, thirty thousand dollars to to keep from auditing her and all this other shit. The same person who claims to be buying all of these different establishments, uh, apartments, condos, whatever the fuck it is, out of the country. A person who claims to have paid cash for so much shit is really out here fucking over people's lives. Now, I just posted that she was getting evicted from the mental health facility that she claimed on the stand. I kept driving by and going in and intimidating her workers. Well, let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a book. Right hand to the man on my kid's heartbeat if they drop dead right now. I never drove by this girl's establishment. Well, not by the mental health facility. Never drove out there. Fuck I'm going to Fort Worth for. But finding out that she's been evicted from this place and then giving the people that's in that home a day to move out of the place because the man is basically going to have the writ of possession like it's his, everybody got to go type shit. And you not helping these same people who paid you Better yet, let's just read the email so y'all. Yeah, you know, like the way that sound, that shit sound crazy. A lot of people got to move out in one day. What is somebody we got now? Just now putting some furniture in that crib. And they got to take all that motherfucker out the next day. Man, damn, man, you got to get to sit on my couch for a day. Y'all can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Dear Chestine, I'm writing to express my concerns and seek clarity regarding the recent situation involving the arrangements for my son and others in your care. While I understand circumstances may change, the way the situation has unfolded raises serious questions about the level of professionalism and care provided. We enter this agreement with the belief that you are acting in good faith, but your sudden shift in terms has left us with significant concerns. I like to know what I should expect to receive in terms of compensation via Apple Pay as previously discussed. $200 refundable deposit, $240 prorated rent, late fees the same as you charge if payment is delayed or if you expect us to vacate early without just cause. Should we begin to calculate the late fees or request compensation for each day we are forced to adjust? For example, a fee of $25 per day for each day of early departure or delay in payment could be reasonable given the disruption this caused. Furthermore, should we also take into account all the promises you made that were not delivered? It's only fair that we evaluate these unmet commitments as of any further discussion. It has been suggested to me to contact the relevant authorities, including APS, Adult Protective Services, given the treatment of the individuals with disabilities under your care. So when I mentioned how them people was being treated in that mental health facility, how they had the best one, the smartest one, the more competent one handing out medicine because the people that was working there quit because Danny wasn't paying them. So how you have a mental health facility, but then you have the people that's supposed to be living there, receiving care, doing the work of the people that you're supposed to hire to be there. But you're getting all this money from the government. They're paying you X amount of dollars monthly, but you can't pay the rent. You can't keep the lights on. You can't keep the Wi-Fi connected. Make it make sense. But you're always there. Well, in your messages, you only go once a month. And that's to what? Collect money. Okay. Additionally, a report to the Better Business Bureau and other professional bodies has been recommended. However, this is not a step we want to take lightly. Our intention is not to harm you or your reputation, but rather to help you make better, wiser decisions that align with integrity and professionalism. This is your opportunity to correct course and demonstrate the compassion and fairness that these individuals deserve. We want to support you building a better reputation and improving your practices to truly benefit those in need. It is our hope that you can see this as a lifeline and an opportunity to act with integrity. There are serious ethical concerns about profiting from the vulnerability of others. I sincerely hope this is not the direction you are taking. We are all here to serve and support one another, not to exploit those in difficult situations. What is yeah, damn, this is a long ass message. What in the world? What's your goal in this? Is it purely financial? If so, at what cost? Do you feel at peace with the. Would you like to have healthier gums and cleaner teeth? Waterpick Cordless Advanced transforms the choices you are making. 
I pray that whatever you sow in kindness and fairness will prosper. But I also pray that any actions that take advantage of others will not succeed. It's never too late to make a change. And I hope you will consider taking the steps necessary to correct the situation. I look forward to your response and to working together in the best interest of all involved. And if you're a bit confused, let me break it down for you. In layman's turn, this girl was receiving money. She was receiving money for the people that was living in the, the, the little mental health home. Not only was she receiving money, people for that was over, like guard was over the people living in that home, some of those people were paying her money via Apple Pay. But the problem arises when they're already receiving money for you to be able to take care of rent, to take care of utilities, to take care of whatever it is that those people need and you're not doing it. And now those people have to try to figure out where is this person going to go? Where am I going to send my son? Where am I going to send my brother? What other accommodations can I think of on the sly? Because you are taking money August and September, but you're not paying the rent. And here we are at eviction and you're putting us in an un uncompromising situation to where we got to disrupt our life and figure out what the fuck is going on because you can't uphold your end of the bargain, if that makes sense. You're very unprofessional. You don't like to communicate. And I feel like you're taking advantage of those who seem less fortunate to you. You're in this solely for the money. You don't give a fuck about anybody in your facility because if you did, you'd be trying to rectify the situation professionally versus me consistently having to reach out to you to figure out a resolution to the issue. That's what's going on. And it only gets worse. 6,000 emails I got to send out to a bunch of people, which is so crazy. But it, this shit is sickening. This shit, this shit is, this shit is just, this is low down and dirty. There's no fucking way you doing no people like it. These folks are reaching out, crying and asking for you to just be a businesswoman and you can't do it. But you consistently flexing how you out of the country, buying this, buying that, investing in this, investing in that. When well, you got shit here in the country that you need to take care of. But I digress. I digress. As if unfolds, I will come in untold. I tried to make that rhyme, it didn't. But so anyway. about a month ago, Dwayne shared with everyone that he actually purchased his first home. Now in Dwayne's recent YouTube video, someone asked him the question, why did he purchase his home by himself when he's in a relationship with Neek? Now this was Dwayne's response. Um, let me see. Cause I'm on there, I'm trying to see what it is. Oh, they said, I didn't see anyone ask this question, but how does buying yourself a home further the growth of you and your partner? Y'all three years in buying individual homes. Um, and I really wanted to answer that question. Me personally, I think, you know, Neek wants her own house too. And I think you sh I think she should have her own house because as you know, as the individual, I think everybody should own something. She should buy a house for herself, her and her son, just to have, just to own. That don't necessarily mean, you know, um, we won't have a house together. Or you own them. I'm not going to sit there and say, you want to buy a house with me? Because at the end of the day, say if we don't work out or something, she got 10 houses to choose from and I got seven houses to choose from to go to that we just been putting in this time by separate and we got three you know to pick between okay yeah we're not together no more well let's you know whatever sell these three houses and split everything 50 50. that's the ultimate goal not to say that you know not to be together but that's the ultimate goal to have multiple properties and you uh, write them but they living in the same house, one big house, and they ain't got no other cribs. Where's that other person gonna go with? Now they gotta figure out how to get an apartment in like 10 days. Like, better to have your own shit than to like stay with somebody and then y'all just don't even work out. Oh, look, we about to Let's do that again. <laughs> Man, it's funny, bro. These kids. Nope. <laughs> I 
white open channel, my guests, sir. We are back, man. I hope you guys are having an excellent day today, man. All right. We have a very crazy video here today, man, giving a happy ending to my follower. What are you talking about? If you guys aren't understanding, all right, if you haven't already from the thumbnail, this is the guy who caught the clap from Japan, all right, after trying to clap cheeks. And apparently, as explained in the title, he took a fan to. Bro caught gonorrhea and what's gonna call it? In Japan, a clap on somebody. Bro, but that's nasty. Like, <sighs> I don't know what be wrong with people these days, you know what I'm saying? To go get a happy ending, or he said he gave it a happy ending. <laughs> oh, what's, what's going on, man? All right? First he went to the Japan, and now he's he trying to do some dating stuff. Before we get into this video, man, I have a self-improvement community called the Mega McQueen Academy, where I'm teaching hundreds of Aqua Force members to be able to get in shape, get in right for success, and give you all the dollars. In there, man. Let's go ahead and see what this weird ass negro got into, alright? Bro, hold up. Before you hop in, search yourself, pat yourself down. I'm not trying to be unalive today. Power your phone off, please. How many phones you got? One. Alright, power it off. Power it off in front of me. Power it off. It's off. It's off? Alright, what's your name, bro? Sorry for the inconvenience. Tyler. Oh, damn, you tall as shit. Alright, hop in. We just got our own victim. What's your name? Ted T. Jordan, bro. We just got a victim. What are you talking about? Yeah, Thank you. you just did a whole 20 with, with, with a bunch of dirty ass, dirty ass, stanky ass, dusty ass women. And now you're moving on to men? And not only that, the whites? Damn. T. Gordon, time you <laughs> So let's get out. I'm going to take him to the same place that I just did my recent happy ending review. Let's get. Okay, so he's going to go to a massage parlor. I read it a little bit differently, brother. Okay. Giving a happy ending to my follower. You didn't think about. You didn't think that that sounded a little ditty. Hmm? Yeah, this is gonna be crazy. Are you ready? Let's get it, bro. I don't think he's ready, but let's come on. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what's it called? Uh, it's unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. Should be dope. It's got like eight or nine chats on there that are brand yeah, new. Hell yeah. Maybe one day we can get a feature. In the oh, well, RSL Records, bro. Come RSL on. Records, bro. Come, come on, on dog. <laughs> you're that's you're crazy. hip to it. Yeah. I didn't know you was hip to it, bro. Yeah, I'm hip. Come on, all right. You I, might I, be the first signing. I, I, I might have to be, bro. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely uh, uh, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Together, I will not play it on the movie. Now, if it was the uh, dude by itself, I'm starting a new trend, bro. Who, what other creators are taking their, their supporters out for happy endings? Like, come on, come on now, bro. You got. Nobody, no one, not a. The reason they're probably not doing that is because they're probably not interested in such acts, you weird ass negro, dusty ass, dirty ass, stank breath ass, infected ass negro, man. <laughs> I'm rookie of the year. Community service at this point. I'm rookie of the year, huh? Come on, no, come on, MVP. For MVP. That's, that's a triple double. <laughs> this is first time in a long time. See? YouTube 101, brother. All right? Take the damn stupid ass songs off of the videos. All right? If you want people to react, stop putting them in positions where they could get copyrighted. You dirty ass. God damn, man. We just got here to this little Asian massage parlor. How are you feeling, chat? I think it's my time to shine. It's time to shine. You already said. Out California. Turn a horse. I'm He said he's pretty nervous on a scale from 1 through 10, he would get a 9. But it's, that's alright, the nerves will go away. 
As, as soon as he steps foot on the court, I know his, his nerves will go away. He just walked out. I could tell he definitely had a good move. Oh, yeah. A good ending. He could barely even walk to his car. Oh, my oh. God. Are you ready, bro? Bro, he's off that. Leave us. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. 30 minutes. Not 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay? Two people? No, just him. It's his birthday. Okay. Oh, he's a little bit. She got a little bit of a. You know, you know, Asians, they usually, they don't really usually got much. You know what I'm saying? They only got the thighs. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ever see Asian girls walking around? They usually always got the thighs. They got the calves. You know what I'm saying? They got the whole build up from the front. All right? And then as soon as they pass by, it's like a, just a damn wall. Why is that for Asian girls? I don't get it. Okay? Every feature looks great until you until they walk past you. Okay? <laughs> but she looks like she got a little bit of a thumper back there. You know what I'm saying? She might be an evolved Asian. Yes. No, it's just him. I'm not going to go. It's just him. Uh, it's his birthday. Yeah. One. Yeah. One. Yeah. Uno. Yeah. Okay. Fifty. Fifty. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Wait. Did, okay. did they show what he looked like? Fifty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, look, man. Look, have, have y'all ever been to a massage parlor? That's pretty much what they look like. Just old Asian grannies. Right, ready to give out, ready to beat off anybody who walks up in there for a couple of dollars, you know? But quit, you've been to a massage parlor? Stop acting like you haven't, all right? We've all been there. We've all had our days where we needed to skate. We've all had our days where we just needed to let one fly, all right? And we didn't want to do it ourselves, okay? We needed a change of scenery, a change of hands, okay? Yeah, I've done it, all right? Yes, a couple times. Maybe more than a couple times. What does it tell you? All right? You should try it, brother. Live a little bit. All right? Because you're just making love to your hand five times a day. All right? Go get a change of scenery instead of judging me. Okay? I don't indulge in these activities no more. I don't. All right? Because I value my nut at this point. I need it. Do you remember me? Yeah. You do? Yes. Okay. So he's just a regular. Tell me, do you remember me? This got to be the door. This has got to be the freakiest dude on the internet right now. <laughs> I sent that. If you were coming here for a massage, you're not getting. Oh, yeah, you could tell he's happy. You could tell, you know, the whites, they, 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 their faces turn red as a tomato <laughs> when they get excited. <laughs> You could just tell by the way his his tone was the moment they back in the car. He's like, <laughs> you. You could just tell by the way his his tone was the moment they back in the car. He's like, <laughs> I sent that if you were coming here for a massage, you're not getting no type of massage, dog. You're getting a nice little like aura rub, like yeah. you know, <laughs> like and just straight to it, huh? <laughs> you. This shit is funny as hell. Hey. Oof. That damn do rag coming up. <laughs> it sound like y'all having a seizure when y'all laugh like that, man. Relax, okay? I know you just got I know you just got beat over in it, but, but relax, brother. Act like you've been here before. Jesus. No, no. This started just playing with like I swear to God, you started rubbing my ass like like that. <laughs> I was like, what the f are you? And like she was, yeah, nah, it was not the movie. No, what happened with your ass, brother? <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like you tried to skip past that. <laughs> Anyways, no. What happened with your cheeks, brother? Okay, what she do to your butt? Hmm? Don't act like we ain't here. No. <laughs> Tell us what happened.
Okay. First, and then I was like, okay, all right, this is this kind of interesting. And then she's like, mm, come on. I was like, all right, it's it's about that time then. This show, she was she was trying hard. Okay, okay, TikTok. Oh, that's you good. Good. She was trying. She was trying really, really hard. I was like, damn, like this. She's super Saiyan mode right now. <laughs> Guys, get you out there. He, he is just gates out of his mind, huh? Yeah, yeah she's just super saying well right now. <laughs> Relax. Damn. Act like he had a spiritual experience in there. Or you just went in there and got beat off by an Asian lady, man. Relax. They're fast, bro. And then, <laughs> bro, I thought I was shocked. I was like, I usually don't last this and, fast. And then she, and then she, would try, at the very, she would try to make noises. <laughs> try to like, enhance the experience. <laughs> I did the word. She grabbed me. She started feeling on my nipple. She said, mm. <laughs> This is who this dusty ass Negro just be. He just be kicking it with S offenders. Be kicking it with girls like this. Be kicking it with dusty ass soul train participants. Like the girl, the, the black girl on this goddamn 20 v 1 video. Like his, his choice of people who he associates with is just very representative of who he is as a person. All right. Just straight weirdo. Now, congrats to him and, you know, his weird ass success to, you know, I hope he continues to get more money and continues to keep growing his, his, his very weird, strange brand. All right. Straight up. I really genuinely, I really genuinely hope that for this guy. But that does not excuse that he is a straight up class A weird ass Negro. This is what it is. Two things can be true at the same time. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, dog. What? And then, you know, <laughs> uh, so how long? Actually, I swear, how I, long was the game from from when you stepped foot on the court? How I long was, did the game last? I want to say I stepped in there. I probably, I it, there was a quick at the very end. There was a big foul. I mean, I, there was a flagrant at the very there's end. A flagrant foul. There was a flagrant foul. Oh. Uh, she was she wasn't ready for the the fourth quarter buzzer. And the oh. fourth quarter buzzer was. Uh, Let's just say <laughs> the POV was crazy, dog. No? <laughs> yeah, she she started she she was laughing. She was uh I, I felt in the bad for her to be honest with you. <laughs> there, was, there was no warning for her, unfortunately, and she uh, uh -oh. she. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, I stepped on the court, and she was she was the one that took one for the team. I'll, I'll put that on. Oh my God. Yeah. So how long how long was the how long did it last? I probably like, like little five six minutes. Five six minutes. Yeah. She was a blind sash. She was a she was a warrior in there. <laughs> Slow down, Cody. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down, Cody. Damn, man. Can you get a word out? I know you're excited, but Jesus, dude. <laughs> If she kind of good one for the team, it was a flake one foul. It was a flake one foul at the end. You. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was not playing dude. She was trying to. And you dropped off a big, like, Warzone care package? Warzone care package. Great. Uh, great. That how was long that, has it been? That, I, I, it's been Since a bit, you dropped off a care package. A, care, a headshot care package? Yes. Unexpected? Um, oh, oh it's, it's, been a, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> Seems these notifications just keep coming in very spontaneous times. And that's when not received with a, with a laugh and a smile. Yeah, I don't think, think she was ready, bro. No, no, she, no. She, she, she turned away. She said, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, oh, I ain't gonna lie, this is the best day of my life, this bro. Is, this is, come on. Bro, hey, like, you, know, you know what we do. This is the best day of your life. I mean, okay. like I said, it's just very reflective of what this guy does on a day to day. How is this the best day of your life? You've had some very strange days, as far as I can see, brother. All right? And this is the best day of your life. Kicking it with Cody. Going to get beat up by random Asian ladies in the middle of nowhere. Rookie, rookie of the year content creator, rookie of the year, oh, star player. She's coming out here with a receipt. Sorry? Here? Here? Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, I signed it. It's, it's my card. He signed it. Oh, you need to sign. Shut in. Yeah, don't worry, I got you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Did I come in? My turn? Yeah. My turn? My turn? My turn? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna dispute that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are <already. laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna dispute that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna dispute that shit.
Well, he said he's happy. She was, that was a little lean, lean, a little, mm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let alone, okay, look, now I got you hoods. That first shit don't get me butts. This right here might get you took. Body bads is family shit like, uh, deal my pussy good. Don't get shit misunderstood. It don't make a difference, bitch, I'm different, bitch. I wish you would feel the script. I'm off the hook, off the henny, tossing lips. My shit hot as Phoenix weather. Gave us shots like Devin Book. With that dope like Kevin Gates. I sent his bro to Heaven's Gate. Seven nights and seven days. She sucked my dick like seven ways. You got galaxy gas, man. Just ridiculous, man. I ain't gonna lie. Listen to me, dude. He was kind of sliding. Man. I ain't gonna lie. He was kind of sliding. I can't lie. <laughs> This is really how it is taking in with white boys. I swear to God, they just be randomly doing that, <laughs> doing doing stuff like this. This is this is it right here. This, this hey, this is it right here. Okay, hey, I love my white boys. They really do. Okay, the whites are honestly probably one of my favorite races. Super hilarious, and I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that in a sarcastic way. Like, genuinely hilarious. I feel like white people don't even understand how funny they are. Very strange video, okay? I'll say he got beat off. They went to the damn massage parlor. The Asian ladies, Ling Ling, got, you know what I'm saying, got Mr. Cody a little, a little nut, all right? A little song, okay? Like I said, very strange choice of words for the title, uh, Mr. Dustball. But nevertheless, entertaining <laughs> video. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section, man. Has ever been to a massage parlor in life? Hmm? Would you ever get beat off by an Asian lady? Don't. <laughs> You probably already have, you old freaky ass negro. Yeah. Let me know in the comment section, man. Make sure you guys like, button, make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys next video. Are you Arthur or the Joker? Which one of you? <laughs> but I know we go out there every video. We hit the cart and then bait, you know what I'm saying? We be out. Kids game, kids game, stand up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Game. Quest up below and ain't time I'll reach it. Yeah, I know we do our third video. Say nothing new. Yeah.